Johnny, welcome to Australia. Uh, how's your first few days going? Are you settling into the region? Yeah, it's been good. The, the weather's nice, obviously, today, which has, has helped. Um, but we've only been here less than 48 hours now, so it's uh, been straight uh, straight into it, hitting the ground running. But um, no, we're enjoying it. It's a, it's a lovely spot. Pre-season is always a busy time. It's always a difficult period uh, for players when the bulk of the work gets done with the conditioners. So what have you got in store for them? Well, I guess it's like any uh, pre-season, the players probably come in with a little bit of uh, anxiety about what they're going to face because they know it's a lot of physical work. But uh, nothing too different. We, we've done a lot of gym work and uh, just got back from a, a pitch session there where there's a bit of running. Um, so I'm just looking at slowly progressing, progressing uh, the load as we get through, but throwing in a few things that change it up. So uh, looking to get out and experience a bit of the, the natural uh, geography that Swansea's got to offer. So a few things at the beach, a few things in the, in the hills and the bush. But, uh, yeah, no, it's, I'm looking forward to it. And have you had a chance to assess the squad who are in yet and see what you think of them? Yeah, uh, a lot of names to, to learn, obviously, but uh, today was a good chance to get a feel for them in terms of their, their running fitness. Um, there's a few things to work on there, but they're, uh, by and all, I think you know, they've come back in reasonable shape, so I'm pretty excited about what we've got to work, for, or work with. You've come to the Ospreys with a, a long and varied CV, some top organisations. What made you decide to come to the region? Why join the Ospreys? Yeah, well, I've been lucky enough to, over the course of my career, to be involved with uh, a number of uh, high-quality sides. But uh, the move for us, we've been over in the UK now for uh, for two years, having just moved from Leinster over there in Dublin. And uh, when Steve and Chris mentioned there was an opportunity here, it was to us a chance to experience something new, but also be involved with a club that I think is on the rise. Um, you know, they're a club that have performed well, but uh, maybe in the last couple of years haven't uh, got the results that they're after. And uh, the coaches are pretty clear on some things that they're trying to change. So. You know, to me, it's it's about a challenge, and uh, I think it's an exciting one to be involved with at the moment. And you mentioned Chris, obviously you've got experience with the Gibbs family, having worked yeah. with his brother at Leinster. Which one gets the vote so far? <laughs> oh, look, she's uh, she's too early to say at this stage. Um, I know John O well from again from Leinster days, but uh, look, there's uh, a lot of similarities there, and uh, they're both hardworking and street coaches. So I'm, I'm sure uh, there'll be some differences with Chris, but uh, you know they're, they're both going to be uh, enjoyable to work with. I'd say. Oh,